Welcome back guys, my wife got me a drink mixer for Christmas and it is pretty awesome at making milkshakes, but is it worth it for cocktails? That's what we're going to look at today, this is an episode of Booze Breakdown, where we're taking a look at a drink mixer for making cocktails. Now if you've read the book Smuggler's Cove, it is they highly recommend it, especially for tiki cocktails, pretty much any time you have um, crushed ice in a cocktail, they recommend you flash blend using a drink mixer. So we're gonna make two cocktails today, a Mai Tai and a Painkiller. We're gonna make two versions, shaken and flash blended with a drink mixer and see which one's best. So let's start with our Mai Tai. We got a couple rums here. We're gonna be using a classic Trader Vic recipe or at least my version that I like. I tend to always mix the rums around, but uh, today we're using this Plantation Jamaican rum, the Zemaka. Um, this is a really good rum. It's got a good level of funk to it. Um, highly recommend if you can get it. We're doing one ounce. So I'm doing one into my sh um, my mixing glass here for shaking and then I've got one into my drink mixer tin. If we're making two, we want to make it exactly the same ingredients in both. Next up, an ounce of rum agricole. This is a Martinique rum, St. James. So an ounce in each, of course. So two ounces of rum is what you want in your Mai Tai. Honestly, use whichever rum you got. Next up, orange liqueur. I'm using this Mandarin Napoleon. Um, usually I would use a dry Curacao or Grand Marnier, but uh, I'm out of both of those. So I'm using another brandy-based orange liqueur. I actually did a video last year comparing four different orange liqueurs in Mai Tais, and I do prefer the brandy-based. So half ounce of your preferred orange liqueur. After that, we're gonna do half an ounce of orgeat. This is homemade. Uh, I will link below to my favorite recipe for orgeat from the Wee Pearl. So that'll be in the description. Half an ounce of orgeat goes in both. Three quarter ounce of lime juice is up next. Now I always say this, but in the original Trader Vic recipe, he also had a little bit of simple syrup or a, a rock candy syrup. Um, I think the orgeat does plenty to sweeten it, so I don't add that. But you can if you want to. Or just up the orgeat to three quarter. All right, we're gonna do two scoops of crushed ice in each glass. So again, we wanna really make sure that our measurements are precise because I want these drinks to be identical. The only variance being the shaking method. So this one here, quick whip shake. All right, just let that sit out for a bit. And then the next one, we will load up onto our drink mixer. Now, uh, for those who are unfamiliar with these, this is not a blender. So it's not actually like blending. It's not gonna make a slushy out of this. The head of the of the mixer is actually plastic. So it's not gonna be able to crush ice. It's actually just, just gonna mix and aerate everything very well. All right, we're serving these in rocks glasses. Let's get it off the machine here. Pour it into our glass. All right, there is our mix. They're pretty identical. Honestly, I don't notice a huge difference here. Um, let's see what they taste like. We're going to top both of these with more crushed ice. And then in good um, standard garnish for a Mai Tai, we're gonna do a small mint sprig. And then a nice dehydrated lime wheel. That's pretty much what I, how I always garnish a Mai Tai. And there it is, guys. We've got two Mai Tais, identical recipes. One is shaken, the other is flash blended with a drink mixer. Let's give them a taste. So the shaken one, I mean, <laughs> that's a classic Mai Tai. Delicious. The drink mixer, virtually identical. Um, I'm really trying to find a difference here. I mean, you could struggle and say that uh, slightly more aerated um, but I honestly do not see much of a difference here um, I keep going back and they're both absolutely delicious I will say it did it did mix a lot faster there's that all right let's make a painkiller so next up we're using two uh, other rums for painkiller painkillers are typically made with uh, pusser's rum um, I can't get that so we're gonna do one ounce of our Zymaka, Plantation Zymaka once again, the uh, Jamaican rum here. I love that one. So an ounce in each. 
Now, because the painkiller is usually made with a navy strength rum, um, what I'm going to do to compensate is do another ounce of our plantation OFTD, which is an overproofed rum. So you're going to get a little extra kick. Should make the difference. Now, this is not the original uh, painkiller recipe. This is the version I like. Um, I kind of toyed with this one. It's not really my favorite drink, but I really toy with it. And this is this is the recipe that I got to like. So two ounces of pineapple juice. I think the original recipe calls for four, which I think is just way too much juice. So two ounces of pineapple. After that, we're gonna do only half an ounce of orange juice. Orange juice has to be my least favorite ingredient in cocktails. I find it. It kills cocktails all the time, so I'm definitely lessening the amount here, leaving it in, because it's in there. After that, half ounce of lime juice. This is not traditional, but I do find that dialing back the orange and adding a little bit of lime, that little extra tartness and sourness, uh, does a great thing for the, the drink. Lastly, most important ingredient, an ounce of cream of coconut. I will leave a link to a description. The home bartender, Anne, makes a really good cream of coconut, so I will link to her video. But yeah, this is not just coconut cream, this is sweetened coconut cream. All right, now in the, my last ingredient, again, not traditional, a um, couple dashes of tiki bitters. This will just add a nice little spice and complexity to the drink, which I find is, um, just works great in a, in a painkiller. Lovely. All right, so those are the specs that I like in my painkiller. Once again, we're gonna add two scoops of crushed ice. Keep things exactly the same because we want to really see which one's better. All right, flippy move. Let's shake the first one up. Quick shake, 10, 15 seconds. Our next one is gonna go on the drink mixer. Just five, six seconds, it really doesn't take long and you see that froth. We're serving these in a Poco Grande or a Hurricane glass. Let's pour our shaken one in. You can serve a, a painkiller in pretty much any glass. There's really no rules here, but it's kind of like a pina colada, so I like to serve it in this glass here. Now for the uh, drink mixer. Oh, look at that. Wow, now that is aerated. Look at that. Remember, same ingredients. There's like an inch of extra foam on there. All right, so we're gonna add some crushed ice to our uh, our shaken one. Now that's gotta be because of the um, because of the pineapple juice and the coconut cream. Those two ingredients tend to thicken and froth up. So that extra aeration from the drink mixer definitely made a difference here. Wow, that's incredible. So not much difference in the Mai Tai, but in the painkiller, because we've got those two ingredients that tend to froth up, there's a huge difference, but let's give them a taste. All right, so that's a great, great painkiller. Um, yeah, I can taste the rum, I can taste the, the pineapple, the coconut, um, those little extra spice from the, uh, from the tiki bitters, delicious. All right, the blended one. Now that's interesting. This is actually a little, okay, a little different here. Um, everything, everything is more fused together. It's actually a little harder to pinpoint the ingredients. Everything just, is blended very well together. Um, wow, yeah, that is that is noticeably different, whereas the Mai Tai was not. This one is noticeably, um, well, be it's better, yeah. It's every, everything just kind of blends better together. A little harder to pick out the ingredients, but. All right, final thoughts. Is a drink mixer worth it? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> you really don't need it, um, but Given the right ingredients, it can make a difference in a drink. It really did froth up that that uh, painkiller. Um, so, yeah, if you if you, you know if you like gadgets, if you're like me, you like like uh, fun ga kitchen gadgets, then absolutely go ahead, get yourself one. Um, if you're making lots of tiki drinks, especially, and you like to make drinks for friends, and you're making lots of drinks, then it's definitely a good investment. But if not, if you don't have the counter space. Just stick to just stick to uh, to shaking your drinks. You'll be just fine. We'll see you next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.